Man, I'll tell you, I wish somebody had told me these things when I started playing golf or at any point during any lesson I ever took in my life. Uh, I wish somebody told me what, just avoid these things and you'll be good. Come on. I'll tell you, there are, that's a horrible shot. There are, we all have bad habits in our swing, in our game that we just can't shake. There's a reason why. It, most of us learn incorrectly. That's just golf, you know, unless you're taking lessons as a five-year-old. You're going to develop some bad habits, but there are some things that you just, we need to know what not to do and that's gonna really help us in our game. The first one is this, and I wish somebody had told me this from day one, and they never did. They told me the opposite, and of course it wasn't true, and it didn't work. So here's, here's what we need to do. Number one is this, never, ever, in your life, I don't care what anybody says, I don't care how much they convince you, don't believe a word they say, I don't care how many initials, PG, whatever they got before, after their name, during, it doesn't matter. Don't ever, run for your life if you hear this. Run for the hills. If somebody tells you to rotate your hands, just take off. Leave your money at the door, go and run for a high, like get away as fast as you can. Never rotate your hands. At least, don't think it. Don't consciously think, I'm gonna rotate those hands open. That's ridiculous. Anybody who tells you, hey, you need to, you need to turn those hands, you need to get this, point it up, then, uh -uh, uh, run away. That's number one. If you rotate your hands, if anything, you should feel like you don't rotate. Man, go watch Tiger swing in slow motion. It's just like this. Like there's nothing going on, there's not. Mm, but we do this. Mm. It's all because somebody says, rotate that face open. Don't, don't. You wanna feel square. If anything, it feels like it's shutting. And if you're gonna make a mistake, shut the thing rather than open the thing, all right? So that's number one, don't rotate those hands. And things will start working out. A little, a little draw on that one. All right, let's move on to the second worst thing in the history of life. Oh, uh, by the way, I hope you're liking this video. If you do, make sure that you uh, hit that like button. Also, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. So today's video is brought to us by our good friends over at Skillshare, and Skillshare is an online learning platform. They have tons and tons of different video courses that you can go through and learn just about anything you might be interested in, from cooking, baking, sewing, gardening, whatever it may be, they have something just about for everybody. And if you use the link in the video description below, the first thousand people get a free trial membership to their premium membership. And then after that trial period, it's only about $10 a month if you wanna keep it going. And it's certainly something to check out and see if there's things in there that can help you know, get you where you wanna go. Something I've been, I've been doing a lot of these different courses and one I'm interested in currently is this one by uh, Sean Dalton about still photography, which is really cool because for my golf content, there's a lot of thumbnails that I need to take that encompass and include still, well, everything is just, except me. I mean, everything's still, so I have to, I want to learn a lot about still photography so I can get better at that so that, you know, this channel keeps growing and getting better. So that's really been helpful for me. So special thanks to Skillshare. Be sure to check them out in the video link below. Now let's get back to the video. All right, so thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now the second thing that we do that, that we should never ever do is this. We sway off the ball. Okay, what is swaying off the ball? Man, if you just draw a line here and you take it back, you're swaying, you're rolling over to the outside of their, your back foot, your knee is coming outside of your foot, your hips are kicking out. Everything's going this way, okay? Because, because at some point, uh, a coach, 
I was hardly calling the coach and instructor, whatever, told me that I needed to get my weight way over to my right side. And so I would, and he would have me like do this. Now, now I know that that's just ridiculous. Man, I'm telling you, there should be a golf instructional police force to just go out and take these guys away. So what do we gotta do? We have to turn, we gotta think around. We gotta think around, go around, around. Never think back and forth, always think in terms of circles, I'm going around. Where's my weight going? It's going around me, around me. And if you think around, you're just naturally gonna rotate. If you think, get my weight back, then you're gonna slide. You're gonna sway. When you spin this way, all the weight is going that way. You don't, but you could stay here. You can actually move forward and have all the weight back here because you're turning around. So instead of thinking, get your weight back, think about get your weight around. Throw your right cheek backwards, okay? So all of it is going around, not back. Okay? And that's really gonna be a huge key in power and control and precision, all the good stuff and none of the bad stuff. Moving on. Okay, number three is this. This is what the guy told me, okay? He said, hey, when you take it back, what you wanna do is you wanna pull down as hard as you can. Pull down, pull down. And I'm like, okay, pull down, here we go. You know, you're pulling down. Here's what happens when you pull down. Think about it, I mean, it makes sense. I don't know why people just can't use common sense when they're teaching golf, but for some strange reason, yeah, that gets thrown out the window. What happens is you take a backswing here and when you pull down, you're gonna get narrow here. I still do that to this day. And then I'm in here and I'm like, I gotta back out of it like this. It hurts my back and everything. I still do it. And then you have to flip your hands at impact to, to get everything synced up. Whereas if you just stay out here, you wanna stay wide. When you take your hands here, and if you're pulling down, you're naturally gonna pull down toward the ball, which is that way, boom. So as you do that, you get narrow in here. This is narrow. We want width, width, width. We wanna be in here. So you don't pull down. If anything, you wanna feel the opposite of that. You wanna feel like that club is laying back down here. Okay? You want that club head to feel like it's being dropped down here so you can rotate around. That's going to help you keep your width. Okay? Never ever pull it down. You want to let it, you want to let that club head feel like it's here. Like, like it's going to drag on the ground. That's the feeling you want. You're not going to do that, but never ever ever pull. And when you get that width, oh, that's the shot we're looking for. Things start, look at nine iron, 152, five feet from the middle. That's what you want. You gotta keep the width. The width is the super important piece. Okay, here's the next one and I'm gonna do it. And then you, you just tell me, you let me know in the comments below if, if you know what it is before I say it, all right? Just, it's on your own. Just shout it out. Just shout it out. Go ahead. Uh, if you know what it is. You don't have to say anything. Here we go. I'm going to do it. What you shouldn't do and you tell me what it is. What was that? You, did you get it right? On your honor. You're on your own. You, did you get, yeah. You're right. Keep your head down. I want to gouge my eyeballs out every single time I hear somebody say that because it's so wrong. It's the wrongest thing ever. I, I, you hear it all the time and it's usually, and it, it's kind of funny, it's usually 25 handicapper given 26 handicapper a tip. Like, dude, you just need to keep your head down. You got to keep your head down. I, look, you can watch it. Like, very few people, you can lift, now you can lift your head up and still hit a ball. It's, watch, right? I'm not gonna keep my head down this time. <laughs> that was a better shot. I didn't look. Right down the middle. Like, you can look. Annika Sorensen looks. 
Henrik Stenson, he looks a little bit. You can look. Am I, I'm not keeping my head down. I'm not keeping my head. So that's, people say that. Like, yeah, it's not your head. That's the problem. It's your body. You're doing this. Uh, uh, like this. I mean, that's, you name that whatever you want. But it's not keeping your head down. That's not going to solve the issue. So you have to, okay, not stand up. How do we not stand up in the golf swing? I tell you, it's your left hip, okay? You're going here and you need to scoot it out like this, okay? You need to swing your butt back. So as you take it back, this left hip should go in, inward as you swing and as you rotate. And in meaning back around you. So remember on your back swing, you're going around. We talked about that. And on your forward swing, you're also going around. This is going back that way around you. Try to spin it all the way around. This is your pre-shot routine. Just, you know, that's what you got to do. You got to go around and that'll keep you from standing up in it. Okay. Oh, I mean, you get some shots like that. That's a pretty good one. Never stand up. Always go around. Let's go. N the last piece and well, one of the most important or it, well, they're all super important. This one though is uh, what I call golf malpractice. Anytime somebody says this to you, um, th they should be, they should go to jail. They should go to golf jail. They really should. And it's this, when they say hit down on the ball, you need to hit down on the ball, hit down. Hit day. This is, I mean, this drives me nuts. I've done countless videos on this. Never, ever in the history of your life, don't hit down on the ball. Here's why. <sighs> look, the ball's down there, okay? I set up here and look, I take my hands up, okay? Everything's up. If you think hit down on it, you're gonna pull down. If you get, get here, you're gonna think I gotta hit down and you're gonna get this super steep angle of attack and you're gonna have this divot that goes long, long divot over to the left and it's like this long and it's a foot deep. That's no good. See, your hands are coming down. They're, go they're going down. So I always say don't add down to down. Don't add another down to it. The hands going down, your club is releasing. So that's also going down, right? That's going down. So if you think now I've got to go more down, man, we're going to be in trouble. That's, that's a cause of so many problems. So instead of thinking down, think around like this. Okay. So I want to get every, that club handle traveling around my body here. Okay. So my arms are coming down, but then I really want the handle to come around low around my thigh. So if you just take your club like this, everything's just falling naturally and just get around around here. That's going to be the key. Cause then that club's going to travel here. You're going to be down. You don't need to go more down. Greg Norman, like that dude never took a divot and he was one of the greatest ever. Right? So just go around. So instead of down, think around and the more around you go, the more uh, consistency you will have. So around is going to be much better than down. You're going to get more distance. You're going to get more power. You're going to get more consistency and you're going to eliminate that fat shot. So just not, never hit down on the ball. If you never hit down on the ball, your life will be better than if you're hitting down on it. Just a fact of life of golf. Hope this video is helpful for you all and that your game is getting better. Practice, work hard. Love you guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Stay up to date. Hit the bell. Do all this stuff. I'll see you in the next video.